Hello, 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 what's going on everybody? It's Medicosis Perfectionellus once again, another video, another set of biochemistry questions with answers. This is the sixth video in the series on biochemistry questions. You will find them organized in my playlist titled Biochemistry. If you are reviewing for your MCAT or DAT exam, the topic of metabolism is of utmost importance and it's heavily tested. For good reason, because you want to be a freaking doctor or a dentist, so of course you gotta understand metabolism, which is implicated in everything from diet and nutrition all the way to cancer pathogenesis. There is a playlist on my channel titled MCAT Questions, where you'll find many biology questions, chemistry questions, biochemistry questions and soon we'll add physics and organic chemistry questions. Let's start by answering the question of the previous video. Which of the following letters A, B, C or D depicts the rate limiting enzyme in the de novo cholesterol synthesis pathway? Please pause and try to answer this yourself. Cholesterol is here. If I want to make cholesterol, well it makes sense that C is in the pathway of making cholesterol. So the answer cannot be D because D is in a totally different pathway. I gotta go with C, B or A. Which one is it? I know that the key rate limiting enzyme in the de novo cholesterol synthesis is the HMG-CoA reductase, not the HMG-CoA synthase. HMG-CoA synthase will be B, but HMG-CoA reductase is C, so the correct answer is C. So let's try to name all of these enzymes. I've just told you that B is HMG-CoA synthase, which will synthesize HMG-CoA, and C is HMG-CoA reductase which is the key rate-limiting enzyme in de novo cholesterol synthesis in your liver. Now, what is enzyme A and what is enzyme D? Can you pause? Enzyme A is thiolase. Don't forget that thio means sulfur. How about D? Well, let me know your answer in the comments. Next, what is the rate-limiting enzyme in the de novo pyrimidine synthesis pathway? Is it A, carbamol phosphate synthetase 1, or B, carbamol phosphate synthetase 2, or C, quarantine acyl transferase 1, or D, HMG-CoA synthase that we just talked about, or E, HMG-CoA reductase, which we also talked about. Please pause. And the answer here is carbamol phosphate synthetase number 2. Next, what is the rate limiting enzyme in the urea cycle pathway? Is it CPS1, CPS2, CAT1, HMG-CoA synthase or HMG-CoA reductase? Please pause. The answer here is CPS1, carbamol phosphate synthetase 1 is the rate limiting enzyme in the urea cycle pathway. Now let's answer all of the rest of them. Carbamol phosphate synthetase 2 is the rate limiting enzyme in pyrimidine synthesis. Don't forget that pyrimidine is part of your DNA and RNA. Next, CAT1 or carnitine acyl transferase 1 is the rate limiting enzyme in fatty acid oxidation, such as the beta oxidation. HMG-CoA synthase is the rate limiting enzyme in ketogenesis or ketone body formation. Don't forget your ketone bodies are acetone, acetoacetic acid, and beta-hydroxybutyric acid. As for HMG-CoA reductase, this is the rate-limiting enzyme in the de novo cholesterol synthesis by your liver's hepatocytes. Here's the lovely urea cycle. Don't forget that arginine-succinate is gonna feed into fumarate, which feeds into the TCA cycle. Urea cycle is so important because it converts the very toxic ammonia into the less toxic urea and then we'll give that urea to the kidney and the kidney will get rid of the urea. Where does the urea leave the chat? At this step between arginine and ornithine. Urea is going to leave here, it's going to go to the bloodstream and from the blood it's going to reach the kidney and the kidney will excrete the urea. What is the site of the urea cycle in your body? Answer, the liver's hepatocytes just like de novo cholesterol synthesis. You see this? This is carbamol phosphate. How do we make it? We make it from NH3 and from HCO3- minus bicarbonate. And the enzyme needed to make carbamol phosphate here is CPS1, carbamol phosphate synthetase number one, which is the rate limiting enzyme in the urea cycle. Because without this enzyme, we will not be able to make carbamol phosphate and without it, there is no urea cycle. The rate limiting enzyme means the slowest step. 
which determines the rate. It's like saying that the productivity of the company is determined by its laziest employee, i.e. the rate limiting employee. If everyone else is working their finger to the bone, but the lazy employee is living the life, the company is not gonna function. You cannot speed up when your rate is determined by your slowest employee. Here, the slowest employee is CPS1. Next, which of the following processes takes place in both the cytosol and the mitochondria? Is it TCA cycle or Krebs cycle or tricarboxylic acid cycle or citric acid cycle? Is it heme synthesis? Is it ketogenesis or the electron transport chain? Hashtag oxidative phosphorylation. Please pause. The correct answer here is heme synthesis. Please write down the following three pathways which take place in both the cytoplasm and the mitochondria. Number one, heme synthesis. Number two, urea cycle. Number three, gluconeogenesis. Next, which of the following hormones is released by the posterior pituitary gland? I gave you a gazillion choices. I want you to choose the correct answer and to tell me where does each one of the incorrect answers come from? Which gland? Please pause. Let's do it one by one. ACTH comes from the anterior pituitary, so that's not the answer. TSH, anterior pituitary, so it's not the answer. FSH, anterior pituitary. LH, anterior pituitary. Growth hormone, anterior pituitary. Oxytocin, posterior pituitary. Yeah, baby, that's the answer. They want the posterior pituitary. Prolactin, anterior pituitary. Cortisol, adrenal cortex, epinephrine, adrenal medulla. Remember the adrenal medulla secretes the catecholamines, namely epinephrine or adrenaline, norepinephrine or noradrenaline, and dopamine. Next, aldosterone, adrenal cortex, DHEA, adrenal cortex, parathyroid hormone from the parathyroid gland. Somatostatin comes from two main places. Number one, your pancreas, the delta cell, because somatostatin is a doofus if you've watched my videos. The doofus comes from the delta cell. The way I remember it is that you can write your delta similar to how you write an S. Somatostatin delta cells from the islets of Langerhans in the pancreas. It also comes from the hypothalamus to inhibit the growth hormone secretion by the anterior pituitary. Here is somatostatin coming from the hypothalamus. Somatostatin is a universal inhibitor. It inhibits everything. In this situation, it's inhibiting the release of growth hormone from the anterior pituitary. Anterior pituitary secretes all of the following. Growth hormone, LH and FSH, known as the gonadotropin, TSH, the thyrotropin, ACTH, the adrenocorticotropin, as well as prolactin. The posterior pituitary releases ADH and oxytocin. It did not make them. Posterior pituitary just stored them. Who made ADH and oxytocin? Answer, the hypothalamus. ADH is mostly from the supraoptic nucleus of the hypothalamus, whereas oxytocin is mostly from the paraventricular nucleus of the hypothalamus. What does the hypothalamus make besides ADH, oxytocin, and somatostatin? Hypothalamus also makes growth hormone releasing hormone, gonadotropin releasing hormones, thyrotropin releasing hormone, corticotropin releasing hormone, dopamine, also known as prolactin inhibiting factor, as well as TRH, also known as the prolactin stimulating factor. So the lovely TRH stimulates the release of two hormones. Number one, it stimulates the release of TSH. Number two, it stimulates the release of prolactin. Next, which of the following is true regarding the enzyme hexokinase? Is it A, it has a higher Km than glucokinase, or B, it has a lower capacity than hexokinase, or C, it's only present in the hepatocytes and the islets of Langerhans, or D, it has a lower affinity to glucose than glucokinase. Please pause. Let's try them one by one. Hexokinase has a higher Km than glucokinase? No. Hexokinase has a lower Km, i.e. higher affinity to glucose than glucokinase, which makes D also incorrect because I just said lower Km but higher affinity to glucose than glucokinase. How about B? It has a lower capacity, by capacity here I mean Vmax, than hexokinase. This is actually true. 
When you have a lower capacity or lower Vmax, it means that you are easily saturated. How about C? It is only present in the hepatocytes and islets of Langerhans. No, hexokinesis actually in almost every cell. The one that they're talking about here is glucokinase. Glucokinase exists in the hepatocytes and islets of Langerhans only or mainly. And here's the comparison between glucokinase and hexokinase. Glucokinase comes from the place that makes globulin, which is the liver, as well as from the place that develops gastrinoma or dissolinger ellison syndrome, and that's your pancreas. Conversely, hexokinase is present in almost every cell. Hexokinase, it's in a hell lot of cells. Glucokinase has a higher Km than hexokinase. It also has a higher Vmax than hexokinase. Whenever you have higher Km, it means low affinity. And whenever you have a lower Km, it means higher affinity to glucose. If you have higher capacity, capacity or higher Vmax, it means you're not saturated easily. It takes a lot of time for you to be saturated. But when it comes to hexokinase, it has low Vmax, low capacity, easily saturated with glucose. When you are saturated later, you're usually first order kinetics, i.e. constant fraction of glucose uh, is being dealt with per unit time. But if you are saturated easily or in an early fashion, you are zero order kinetics. Mnemonic time. Glucokinase is very important because your liver and pancreas are supremely important organs. So everything is high high km high vmax which means high capacity i am not zero no 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 i am important i am first order kinetics and by first i mean constant fraction not constant amount next question which of the following is secreted from the parafollicular cells of the thyroid gland is it tsh trh t3 and t4 i.e thyroid hormone calcitonin or parathyroid hormone please pause let's think about that who secretes TSH? Anterior pituitary and not the thyroid. So A is incorrect. Who secretes TRH? It is the hypothalamus and not the thyroid gland, which makes B incorrect. Who secretes T3 and T4? Oh, it's the thyroid gland. Yeah, but be careful. Which cells of the thyroid gland secretes thyroid hormone? It is the follicles, the follicular cells, and not the parafollicular cells, which makes C incorrect who secretes calcitonin calcitonin is secreted from the thyroid gland which cells between the follicles parallel to the follicles parafollicular cells of the thyroid secrete calcitonin what does calcitonin do to serum calcium it lowers serum calcium who secretes pth parathyroid gland not the thyroid gland do you remember the name of the cells in the parathyroid gland that make PTH? Answer, chief cells of the parathyroid glands. What does PTH do to my serum calcium? It raises serum calcium, just like that. It increases calcium, but it's a phosphate trashing hormone i.e. it lowers your serum phosphate level. In the next video, we'll have even more questions. If you found this video to be helpful, please consider supporting my channel by buying me a coffee. You can go to my website, medicosisperfectsnatis.com to download my biochemistry notes, including metabolism, chemistry notes, physiology notes, biology notes, hematology notes, pulmonology notes, kidney pathology notes. I got all kinds of notes. If you want to understand how your kidney functions, the glomerular filtration rate, renal clearance, the proximal tubule, the loop of Henle, distal tubule collecting ducts with the famous titratable acidity, download my renal physiology course at medicosisperfect.com. Perfectionalis.com. It has 10 videos, 10 cases with answers, notes, and Perfectionalis Ultimate Notebook. I help you pass exams. There are more than 300 premium members-only videos on this channel. You can get access to them right now by clicking the join button and choosing the highest tier. Please subscribe, smash like, and hit the bell. Support my channel on Patreon, PayPal, or Venmo. Go to my website to download my courses, notes, cases, or if you'd like me to personally tutor you. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.